today we are going to discuss about kinds of hybrids. In this lesson, you will be able to learn and understand the kinds of adverbs. And at the same time, you will be able to differentiate them. Are you ready? Let's go! Let's read and analyze the sentences. 1. Justin writes neatly. 2. The test was quite easy for him. 3. The wind blew very hard. What do you call the highlighted words in the sentences? The highlighted words neatly, quite, and very are adverbs. Adverbs modify a verb an adjective or another adverb. Justin writes neatly. In sentence one, quite modifies the adjective easy. Three, the wind blew very hard. In sentence number three, the word very describes how hard the wind blew. And hard is an adverb. There are five kinds of adverbs that modify a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. Adverb of time. Adverb of place, adverb of manner, adverb of frequency, and adverb of degree. Again, these are the kinds of adverbs. Adverb of time, adverb of place, adverb of manner, adverb of frequency, and adverb of degree. First, let's have the adverb of time. It describes when the action is done. Example, we can go to the classroom now. The word now describes when the speakers can go to the classroom. Adverb of time are words that answer the question when, early, later, yesterday, tomorrow, soon, and tonight are examples of adverb of time. More examples for adverb of time. 1. I will visit you tomorrow. 2. The results were announced last week. 3. Next year, I'm going to South Korea. The highlighted words tomorrow, last week, and next year are examples of adverb of time. Adverb of time describes when the action is done. Adverb of place describes where the action is done. Example, let us meet here. The word here describes where they will meet. Adverbs of place are words that answer the question where. There, inside, somewhere, elsewhere, and outside are examples of adverb of money. More examples for adverb of place. 1. They built a school nearby. 2. I searched everywhere but I couldn't find my wallet. 3. I found my bag outside. The highlighted words nearby, everywhere, and outside are examples of adverb of place. 
adverbal phrase describes where the action is done. Adverb of manner describes how the action is done. Example, oil prices go up quickly. The word quickly describes how the oil goes up. Adverb of manner are words that answer the question, how? They usually formed by adding ly to the adjective. Loudly, gracefully, happily, easily, and beautifully are examples of adverb of manner. More examples for adverb of manner. 1. Rocks dances gracefully. 2. He celebrated his birthday happily. 3. She dresses beautifully. The highlighted words gracefully, happily, and beautifully are examples of adverb of manner. Adverb of manner describes how the action is done. Adverb of frequency describes how many times the action is done. Example, he often forgets to close the window. The word often describes how often he forgets to close the window. Adverb of frequency are words that answer the question, how often? Regularly, always, seldom, never, and sometimes are examples of adverb of frequency. More examples for adverb of frequency. 1. I always wake up at 6 o'clock. 2. I seldom go to the mall. 3. She never sleeps late. The highlighted words always, seldom, and never are examples of adverb of frequency. An adverb of frequency describes how many times the action is done. Adverb of degree describes how much or to what extent the verb adjective or the adverb is done example the view is very beautiful the word very describes how much beautiful the view is adverb of frequency are words that answer the question how much or to what extent almost just enough really extremely and completely are examples of adverb of
the bus will depart soon. The bus will depart soon. Soon is an adverb of time. Occasionally eat junk food. Occasionally is an adverb of frequency. <laughs> they are extremely happy. They are extremely happy. Extremely is an adverb of degree. <laughs> he runs very fast. He runs very fast. Very is an adverb of degree. I hope to see you next time for our next class. Bye!